Yeah, but I think it's really important to understand that there are lots of conspiracies. Conspiracy means a, a group of people get together to commit a crime to violate international law. This is pervasive. Uh, the idea that conspiracy theory is somehow per se on the fringe or ludicrous is a wrong understanding. Uh, our government commits conspiracies all the time. We violate international law all the time. And every time we do, it's a conspiracy <laughs> per se, because it's not the action of one person. It's the action of a group of people who are violating international law. Now, who peddles in the idea that conspiracy theorists or believers in conspiracy theory are nuts? Well, people who commit conspiracies. Uh, the U.S. government wants us to believe that if you believe in a conspiracy, you're on the fringe or over the fringe. But the U.S. government patently commits conspiracies all the time. What do you think the CIA does for a living in its operation side? It overthrows governments. It tries to overthrow governments. Those are conspiracies. That's not that's not fringe. That's core. <laughs> so the whole argument, uh, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Put that. Let's put that aside. It doesn't mean everyone that comes up with something is speaking sensibly or knowledgeably. It is by nature tricky to understand conspiracies because they aim to be hidden. So it requires somebody telling you something interesting in an interesting way or Julian Assange uh, revealing something in an interesting way or a whistleblower leaking something in an interesting way or somebody making a deathbed confession or trying to follow uh, the, uh, you know, connect the dots with the danger that, of course, there's deliberate misdirection by those who would commit a conspiracy. But the idea that somehow it's just weird or strange to believe in a conspiracy misses the point. There's an excellent book, uh, by the way, very, very nicely done uh, by Lindsay O'Rourke, uh, written in 2018, published in 2018, uh, called uh, Covert Regime Change. And it documents in a serious way, it was her dissertation at University of Chicago under the direction of John Mearsheimer. It documents 64 cases of covert U.S. regime change operations. Some failed, some succeeded in their own terms of overthrowing the government. Every one of those is a conspiracy. And that's not some crazy idea. That's the documented record. So we should understand the issue is not whether you believe in conspiracies or not. If you don't, you're missing the point. The question is, which ones you believe in? Right. Is there evidence for it? Is it just craziness? Is it just your ideology? Is it some kind of self-serving weirdness or is it evidence-based? And with evidence, you have to understand that it is in the nature of conspiracy to hide, to dissimulate, to misdirect, to peddle false information. And so to get this right requires a lot of uh, homework. But believe me, there are conspiracies uh, and uh, they're not so uncommon. <laughs>